Welcome to Goalie's Pip Academy. Once upon a time, in a friendly little town called Chugville, there was a curious kid named Sammy. Sammy loved adventure and always wanted to see new places. One sunny morning, Sammy went to the train station near home. The train station smelled like warm cinnamon buns and shiny metal wheels. Suddenly, an old-fashioned steam train pulled in with a loud toot. Sammy climbed aboard, heart thumping with excitement. The train whooshed away from the station, passing fields of dancing sunflowers, sparkling rivers filled with silly ducks, and tall mountains that looked like giant ice cream cones. After a delightful journey, Sammy returned home with stories to share, a mind full of new ideas and a heart that knew the world was much bigger and more exciting than ever before. That's what trains can do, friends. They can help us explore, learn, and discover the world beyond our backyard. Welcome to Pip Academy. Today we're talking about trains. They're not just big. They're not just loud. They are absolute marvels of engineering that changed how people travel and move things all over the world. Trains have been around for hundreds of years. In the beginning, people traveled by foot, by horse, or by boat. Then came an extraordinary invention, the steam locomotive. Steam locomotives were powered by burning coal or wood to heat water into steam which pushed pistons and turned wheels, making the train move down the tracks. But guess what? Modern trains have come a long way from those early days of chugging steam engines. Today, we have super fast trains called high-speed trains, bullet trains, maglev, magnetic levitation trains. Trains come in so many shapes, sizes, and colors. Some are meant for carrying people on daily commutes, Others haul massive amounts of cargo, like grain, coal, cars, or even giant containers filled with goodies from around the world. Before we go further, let's have a quick quiz to see how well you've been listening. Get ready, it's quiz time. Quiz one, true or false? Early trains were powered by steam, which came from heating water to create steam pressure. Is your little one working on finding their first words? You're not alone in this journey. At Goalie, we've developed a speech and language system to support early language learners. Our goal is to help kids learn their first 50 words. Here's what makes Goalie special. First is we have interactive apps designed by expert speech therapists. We make ad-free content like this to support learning. And lastly, our app for parents lets you track your child's progress. Every child develops at their own pace, and at Goalie, we're here to provide that extra boost. Our system has already helped thousands of families across America support their kids' communication needs. Visit GetGoalie.com and use code YouTube10 for 10% off your first purchase. Again, that's GetGoalie.com to give your learner a boost in speech. If you said true, then well done. That's right. Early trains definitely used steam power. That's why they're called steam locomotives. Over time, trains improved in many ways. Diesel trains came along using diesel fuel to power internal combustion engines and then electric trains, which run on electricity from overhead wires or a third rail became more common. There are even trains that run underground called subways or metros, helping millions of people in big cities get around quickly and have you ever heard of maglev trains? They don't even run on wheels. Instead, they float slightly above the track using powerful magnets. Trains are not just for people, though. Freight trains carry a huge amount of goods every single day, making sure our grocery stores, clothing shops, and toy stores have what we need. Without trains, we would need countless trucks on the roads to deliver these products. And that would mean more traffic, more pollution, and slower transport times. Let's do another quiz before we wrap things up. This time, think about something we learned recently. Ready? Quiz two, multiple choice. What do maglev trains use to float above the track? A, hot air balloons. B, powerful magnets. C, super strong spring. D, jets.
If you said B, powerful magnets, then well done. That's right. Maglev trains use magnetism to lift off the track and glide forward. Awesome job, everyone. See how much you've learned already? Just think about how important trains are for our daily lives. Without them, traveling would be slower, moving large amounts of cargo would be harder, and we might not have as many choices in stores. Trains are kind of like the blood vessels of countries pumping goods and people around to where they need to go. Now it's your turn to keep exploring. What kind of train would you design if you could invent one? The possibilities are endless, and who knows? Maybe one day you'll become an engineer or inventor who helps create the next generation of trains. Thanks for learning with us today. Trains are truly amazing machines, and there's so much more to explore and discover out there. Keep asking questions, keep being curious, and keep that sense of adventure alive. Is your little one working on finding their words? You're not alone in this journey. At Goalie, we've developed a speech and language system to support early learners. Our goal? To help kids learn their first 50 words. Here's what makes Goalie special. Interactive apps designed by expert speech therapists. We make ad-free content like this one to support learning. Our app for parents lets you track your child's progress. Every child develops at their own pace and Goalie is here to provide that extra boost. Our system has already helped thousands of families across America support their children's communication skills. Visit getgoalie.com today and use code YouTube10 for 10% off your first purchase. Again, that's getgoalie.com to give your learner a boost in speech.